Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. You're probably wondering what this is here. Well, it's an F-117 stealth fighter slash bomber thing. It's used by the US military, and it used to get cited as a UFO quite often, apparently. But, that is not the point of the video. So I started building this as a little bit of a concept build, something that I could add to my fleet. And then I actually Wikipedia'd it and started reading about its um, payload, and it has quite a big payload of a Pavlo guided bomb. And then I was thinking, some of my subscribers were talking about guided munitions and rockets and machine guns, and then the debate sort of got into what is the point of using inertia-based weapons over weapons that, like rocket launchers and machine guns, that do so much more damage. Well, I thought today I would show you the concept. I just took the safety off that weapon there, so when it impacts, it'll actually destroy things. So the concept of a stealth fighter is to get in there, strike a target, and get out of there before actually being seen on the radar. In Space Engineers, of course, it'll work a little bit differently. Everything has different render distances. The small ship has a, less, a smaller render distance than the station and the big ships that you can see over there. So if you're so far away, that'll pop out. So the first thing you can do to your ship to blend it in, obviously, is camouflage. Secondly, is how it's going to strike its targets. And we've got this target over here. I've marked it with target. And imagine this beacon over there has been placed by your forward observation team or someone who's managed to get into this station, placed it, or even a fighter, maybe, who's placed it and then escaped out of there. And this is the idea of a uh, sort of laser-guided munition you could say so if we get inside our little stealth fight here and basically this missile will hit without us even being in risk of actually being injured shot at so say for instance that this place was being held by loads and loads of fighters but somehow we managed to get our beacon up or even the beacon could be triangulated from a ship that's on the opposite pole from where we we're actually going so say we were heading north that ship could be on the south, and we basically direct the target through our ship to their ship. A bit, a bit complicated, uh, I know. But you see, the, the stealth fighter that I was next to over there has popped out now. And that red station is just about rendered out. Look, see, it's rendered out. And basically, we can strike that target without actually even needing to see it. So we turn this around. It's a very nimble little fighter for what it is. I've not got any armaments on it to keep it realistic. What we're going to do is we're going to get up to a speed of around 30 and then release it and then I'm going to follow it in. Okay, usually you just pull off from the target straight away. So it's there, it's just popped in. P and there's the missile is released, you can see it. Let me see if I can catch it up. I might not be able to catch this up guys. But yeah, okay, yeah, it's just popped out of render distance. So technically we would just fly away now, but the missile would still be on the way to the target. And the target, of course, is that water tower looking structure, but it could be anything. It could be command posts, a static ship, something being docked somewhere. And have, have we got eyes back on it before it explodes and impacts? Or did we hit something else? Or we accelerated past it? Maybe we've gone past it. Where the hell is it? There it is. There it is. Look, it's just flown past us. Oh! <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> now, now that. That was a weapon of destruction. Um, sorry about that, but yeah, that was that was pretty. I didn't expect that. The whole thing just disappeared, and I actually went past the rocket. But yeah, that's the, that's basically the concept of these weapons and using them in combination with a stealth sort of fighter. So this fighter would never actually have to get in a direct combat role, and it's not designed to have to fight in dogfights. But it's still got enough maneuverability and speed to escape even though you've got a cheap little payload. Obviously you can vary your payload up and I've just put these on the end as safety caps. And what I found best works is a power generator and a gyroscope on the end. And basically it'll start, it'll stay, well, stabilize the actual missile in case you release it and it comes a little bit wonky. So that's definitely something to try laser designate in your targets for friends. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we just got another one here. I'm just gonna talk about the setup quickly. Basically we've got these two bricks apart and this allows us to clamp it in place. The F117 itself, I'm going to stick up on the workshop because, you know, it's, it's, it's an alright thing and you can have a mess around, but that's something to keep in mind and I'd really like to hear your thoughts on stealth radars or maybe even cloaks that a lot of you guys have been discussing. Not too much of a fan of the sort of cloaking idea though. 
I'll see you next time and thanks for watching.